Hi everyone, this is Cindy Create the Heart, and I'm back to show you another project that I made with the Stargazer <clears throat> paper pad that I had gotten from Tuesday morning. And so I have been working through this pad and I am making great progress. So hoping to be done with it really, really soon. You can see this one's actually um, empty because I have all the scraps in a pile that I'm going to work, be working with. And so hopefully this will give you ideas on, you know, how to kill a large paper pad. Not a six by six, but this is a 12 by 12, 36 sheet, one-sided paper pad. So it's pretty big. Dear Lizzie by um, Stargazer. Now I did make this album and I have a video on that. And this is quite a large album that I made. The other thing that I made was this tag album, which I really love. This one came out really, really nicely. So I have a video on that. And then the third project that I've made is um, kind of playing with one of my dies. This is the Ka 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 Caitlin Lazardi planner die. This is this makes a personal size planner, I believe. And so I just used the larger sized papers that I had to try and make this this work. And I have this cording. This is black. I just, I think I have a couple other cor of cording, but I usually just use the black because I have it on a spool. So for the front, I kept it really simple. I just used the chipboard piece that comes in the collection. Um, it doesn't come in the collection, but I had gotten it also Tuesday morning. And then a couple other pieces, and I adhered those down. And then when you open it up, I used a Caitlin Lazardi die for this this little piece right here, which is like a little pocket <clears throat> for the side. And I have um, a washi strip here. And then I have a clip to hold down my little pieces, my little, piece, little notes pieces that I have here that also came from the collection. And if I don't do that, they just kind of pop out and fall over the place. So I don't like that. So I have a little clip here, keep that down. And then I just went ahead and I made um, four inserts. So here's the first one. And then I've used a little bit of some ephemera in my stash, but I tried as much as possible to use any of the cut aparts that I had left. So I did this one and what I did for my inserts is I purchased the digital inserts from uh, Christy Tomlinson on Etsy. She does the Planner Society. And so I just cut these down and I have a long range stapler. And so I just stapled them on this one. Here's this one and this is from the collection. And then this is the notes one and it's got um, the dots, the grid. I made a little divider right here, a dashboard. And this is using, the problem with using the chipboard is it didn't really adhere well. So it's kind of like, not adhered super well over here because it's thicker than my paper. So it's kind of, it's okay. <clears throat> and then I've got this insert. This is so very grateful. And then this one is the boxes. And then um, on the back of here, I used the Tim Holtz new die that he has. And it's got these little slits for things. So I put this one in here. This one goes all the way to the end and then I have these other little pieces that I just squeezed in here right there we go and then the last insert is find your wild and then this one is a grid it says hello beautiful <clears throat> and then I did not laminate it or anything like that I was just trying to keep it simple because I don't even know what I'm going to do with this little planner thing. I think it's cute though. So I did do this and then I am working on a stack of what's left. And so I'm going to show a video on the last bits and pieces of that and what I'm doing with it. And then I'll be done with that. So thank you very much for watching. This is Cindy Crane with the Heart.